Hello everyone, Jeff here. I wanted to give you all a heads up. Helen and I talk about many things in this episode, from our relationships with our dogs, Helen beating cancer, but also the history and cultural past of the other C word, the bad one. This word is said a number of times, but I'm only advising you of this because I don't want it to be a surprise. The positive conversation we had surrounding that word really made me think about the power of words themselves and how we allow others to control our feelings based on this mix of four little letters. That the word is said from about nine minutes in, but I want you to trust me that if you carry on past that ninth minute, you won't regret it. I hope you enjoy a very positive and empowering episode. In a world desperate to tear itself apart, only one man and some other people stand in the way of total destruction. Together they will right the wrongs, make bad, good, and single-handedly destroy evil, together. Who is this man you may ask? This man is... Jeff. Hello and welcome to this episode of Jeff Jones and Friends Make It Better, the show that takes the world's small annoyances, breaks them down, spins them around, adds some egg, milk, maybe some seasoning, and dishes up something which is quite simply better. Today I'm joined by comedian Helen Pryor. Hello Helen, how are you? Uh, hi Jeff. Well actually I'm fine. I'm trying to be always fine, to find <laughs> some positive energy. Positive, yeah. yes. It's- it's, it's difficult these days, so it's good to meet people who uh, just want to be happy. You see my bright colours? I feel the colours, actually, when you dress up and with yellow, you know, like Van Gogh, sunflowers, you know, with other bright colours. It's actually keeps the spirit up. I'm, I'm wearing a kind of sick green today, which uh, yeah, doesn't, see, doesn't yeah. help anyone's vibes. <laughs> Your masculinity comes through, you know. I can feel a man there, so it's okay. <laughs> you still have some flask of energy. <laughs> yeah, I do try. I try and smile a lot. I try and smile a lot. Uh, look, thank you so much for, uh, for, for joining me today. Um, please, what is it we're going to uh, have a chat about and try and make better today? Well, basically, I just want to complain a little bit about my marriage la- married life. <laughs> well, I'm married third time. It's my kind of third treasure, really. Uh, but the thing is, I live in a threesome. Uh, oh. <laughs> because my husband got very young girlfriends. <laughs> I can't actually compete <laughs> because they uh, pull him bloody out every night for long walks. You know, they watch sunset together. <laughs> so my husband looks like man in love uh, with his uh, tetrapods. Well, uh, one of them is just here. You know, a very hairy lady. Her name is Wanda. Oh, hello, hello Wanda. Wanda. Here. Here There's one main girlfriend, the mistress of the house. She's a very, very beautiful girl. She's beautiful. actually like a beautiful prostitute. She prostitutes <laughs> her love for ham, for everything. I had to buy so expensive stuff. She wouldn't eat this shitting dog food. <laughs> yes. And when my husband say good morning, I know it's not to me. It's to this beautiful Afghan hound. That's the love of his life. He talks to her. He loves to her. He robs her. Well, you know, anything which should go to me goes to this uh, hairy girl. So I'm probably not hairy enough. That's what no. I realized, you know. <laughs> That's it's hairy, but not as hairy as one t- Too well groomed. Her. Going to, I got another one. I don't know where he go. Actually, we call them girls, but actually, the other one is a, a girlfriend. Is a um, castrated mongrel, a non-binary dog. Right. Not so <laughs> gorgeous, like, uh, but um, he's actually quite clever and um, uh, jolly. And um, my husband wouldn't spend ten pounds even on his own hair. Believe me, he just goes to the same haircut, just blah, 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 blah. nothing to spend money because he was brought up like Methodist. Uh, so he wouldn't spend anything if you don't have to spend, uh, except for the charity. He was a very charitable man. But he would spend thousands on these girlfriends. I really feel envious. And actually, she's beautiful, this girl. She's blonde, but like many blondes except me, of course. She is quite stupid. She is four years old and she still pieces in the middle of the room. <laughs> Well, honestly, she does. And my husband can't even hear he say, oh, because she feels, look, you understand we're talking about her, that she she's jealous. Uh, but, you know, I'm also in the middle of the room. <laughs> so we we have kind of relations, you know, everything is about dogs. Have you fed the dogs? Are the dogs asleep? Are they comfortable? So that's my life. But actually, in spite of that, I tried to make friends with my husband's girlfriend because I think negative things doesn't help, does it? So, so I actually corrupted his girlfriend and she now in front of my husband comes to my lap because I buy her ham. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> not not just <laughs> scenes, you know what I mean? Anyway. So uh, you're, you're, but, um, you're trying to steal, generally, steal back I can't control. Really complain. Yeah, so, so I'm trying to make, and not only with hairy girlfriends, but um, I also made a, um, a friend of his real girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> she's, not, she's not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> She's very human, <laughs> but I befriended her to the amazement of my husband, and now she feels embarrassing. <laughs> so actually, she's more my friend than a muse for my husband. You see, you had to find your nice way because, you know, with age, it's a good thing about aging a little bit. You become a little bit wiser. You know, when you're young, I used to break cups and stuff, and everything was sorted out by arguments. I don't argue anyway. I always say yes. But yeah. then I do it my way. And I always enjoy, nearly orgasmic, when my husband's saying, oh, you don't need to do it, don't do it, you know. I, I didn't intend to do it. I just wanted you know, to make sure that I wasn't against. So, you know, you find your nice ways around, you know. You know, uh, sort of, uh, basically, actually, my life recent years became, I, I came to comedy only a year ago. I'm actually an art historian. Yeah. Oh, and, wow. Um, yeah. And I'm also a cancer survivor. So basically, I decided it's better not to cry about what happened with you. It's better to laugh. And yes. Love it. So um, just exactly a year ago, I just made some five minutes a little gig. And now I'm doing solo show. And five minutes a year ago seemed like the whole hour. And now the whole hour seems like five minutes. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, comedy actually became for me everything what women of my age are missing in life. You know, we don't have enough attention, but when I come and see the audience, you know, that's, I uh, get a lot of attention, love, and even sometimes sex when a guy like you looking at me <laughs> <laughs> and smiling and recording, you know, I'm actually <laughs> feeling very happy blush. with my dream. <laughs> so, so you, so and you don't, you don't even have to uh, kind of pee in the middle of the stage either to get the attention. So that's. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, the people, when the applause is, you know, is, is more orgasmic than having sex with a 60-something uh, man, you know, so, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Much more. <laughs> and actually, my audience is, I'm kind of, I don't want to say my age, but, you know, I'm like 30 days take, you know, as elder is better. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, but, well, I'm trying, at least trying. I'm not, not necessarily, everybody agrees with, but, but I'm trying. Um, uh, but um, generally, you know, life became, to me, more interesting because you you actually know more, you expect more, and actually you value every day. You know, so I'm having fun, gigging or not gigging, seeing my husband. If he, my husband is happy with his mistresses, whatever they're hairy or not, you know, I, I just decided, why not? Why should I deny him being happy? I have no any right. You know, that's my position in life. It's actually make me so relieved, so easy, and give me, you know, just enjoyment, not no trouble. But Helen, I love it because not not only have you come on with you know quit with your gripe, but also you've kind of fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it yourself. Um, you may as well have you may as well have this podcast and just help me out. Uh, so I love the idea that it's just take everything with a smile, isn't it? And I think that's yeah, that's the same for absolutely say absolutely almost everything because yeah, it's there's a there's a lot going on in the world today, and if you can at least smile and carry on through the the smaller bits. Uh, it maybe make the, the the bigger bits a bit more bearable. Really true, because negativity and anxiety doesn't actually help. Yeah, doesn't do anything good. It's only destructive. You know, I learned it. You know, so uh, because actually before my cancer operation, I was one of these very anxious and the eager people and trying to push things in the heart. And now I kind of let it go, and things actually moving faster. You know, yes. because nobody likes pressure. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> there you are. Well, you, you learn a little bit of it. It's nice actually talking to you I, I that's why i like comedy you meet interesting people you know yes. people who actually cares and, and by the way um, since um, uh, theresa coffee was upgraded to a deputy prime minister i noticed that interest to big fat women <laughs> aging women with bad habits actually <laughs> on a rise so it's my time now <laughs> i found but, my niche now you know, that's, it's your time Teresa, you know <laughs> That's your time. Yeah, we're women with bad habits. That's what we need more of. That's what, or at least, yeah, you know, women have bad habits, but but make it more acceptable. You know, put people on stages and on television and and everything, and just show the bad habits. That's a, we're we're too we worry too much about keeping things kind of bottled up and keeping it private, and just just everyone should just go and be themselves. Uh, oh, so my I, bad I, comment. 
Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no. I, was I just wanted to, to say. Take away. You carry, you, carry, <laughs> you carry on. You I just carry wanted on. to say my bad habit is the only thing that I can't uh, refuse myself to buy nice sausage roll and weight rolls. Yeah. You know, I, I just can't. You know, I, I said it's a fucking poison. Sorry to say bad word. Uh, poison and uh, the waste it's growing. I think they put drugs there because you just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I feel myself a cunt, you know? Actually, is that the, is that I the do ones wear that... a cunt on my chest because of that. Oh. <laughs> this, can you see this little pussy? I'm it's just... a vagina, actually. I'm just saying I'm a cunt. I can't stop eating. Uh, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Look at this. It's beautiful. I actually love it. That, that I don't is bit. Not beautiful... yet, but this one, I actually don't mind to lick. She's, it's... she's fantastic. Look at this. <laughs> it's actually handmade. It's an it's a, a art job work. I, and a friend of mine just said you bought a black pussy. I didn't notice she was black. I just saw these beautiful red lips. That's all. But uh, it, apparently it is. That that is that is a. It, I don't think I've ever seen a vagina necklace before. I'm not gonna. Lie. But I, I, I'm going to wear it all the time on my chest. You know, it just makes me feel good because um, you know I read actually a book. It's called Adventures of an Old Cunt. It's coming out in November. Um, it's not actually vagina monologue. It's about yeah. the story of resurrection after cancer. Uh, because uh, that uh, shake up of my hormones made me so horny and also pushed me to so many adventures, speed up. I learned to fly. I became a world champion in ballroom dancing. So I actually was born with one leg shorter than the other. A lot of different kinds of adventures, which made my life much more interesting. So watch for this book. Um, uh, and that's, sure that's also my symbol, my calm. You know? And the word count in my book actually is kind of detoxified. I'm trying to say, you know, actually we're using male option dick all the time without any kind of, you know, really restriction much. Uh, so what's wrong with the place that gives birth, life and actually pleasure? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not to everybody, but I'm for some reason still there for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It does. laughs> I, I don't know you enough, but I just feel it does. <laughs> do, you, do you know what? I'm going to have I'm going to have to think of of the right words to kind of uh, explain at the beginning of this, the kind of, see, I feel, I feel kind of awkward saying that word kind of on a recording. Don't get me wrong. It's like yeah. one of my, fa- it's one of my it. favorite words. Um, but yeah, what you use in the, in a positive way, meaning what it's meant to be. And obviously it's been kind of demonized, hasn't it? The, the kind of the word, the C word as I'll, I'll, I'll always out and, yeah. uh, <laughs> and say, but not everywhere, um, not everywhere. Jeff. If, you, if you look at the cultures, different cultures, in, in India, for example, goddess Kantis, from what Kant is actually, um, is a, may represent motherhood of the universe. Buddha's mother was called Kanda. And even, I don't know how you are, you know, kind of um, ancient languages, but if you know something about Sumerian language form, it's from word Kunta, which means um, basically queen and love. You know, wow. so, and, and even in closer cultures to us, like in Scotland, for example, a granny will sing a song to her little granddaughter and she will call her V count and she doesn't actually mean anything bad. Sure. In Ireland, they will call teenagers, which are sort of a little bit um, extroverts, different, funny, they will call them kind teens, spell C U N T. And it's not abusive. It's actually just meaning that you're different. You know, you're, you know, which I want always to be different. So it means, I mean, wants to be calm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you don't want everyone to be one. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, the thing is, in my book, actually, I, I show that, that this word can be abusive, you know, mm-hmm. it, but you grow with it. You know, if you know and understand that this word actually can be beautiful. I do show some pieces like an art historian, some pieces of art. Like, you know, uh, people, wow. Yeah. So it's, um, it can be different, you know, if you, if you depend what you want to, to put into it, you know. And if people not agree that can't can be rehabilitated, we can call them nice word, vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I, I find somebody called me vagina, I will be very upset, but I don't mind to be can't. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, I think, I think vagina, it kind of extends it, doesn't it? You want to get to the no, point. No, can't sounds nice. It's nice, like a musical, musical, you know, somebody just done can't, you know. <laughs> it sounds like little audio, you know. But vagina sounds like somebody nasty, you know. Somebody goes into your deep diver, you know, into an intertal cave with something bad, monstrous, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> so in your in, in your show so you got a show coming up how many times do you use the word like is 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 this kind of a, a prelogue of what people expect and and how do they take it well actually i i asked audience during my show um 
hands up who wants to dexify this word, but uh, can't and use it without bad meaning. 99%. Yeah. You know, mainly everybody. They do applause and, and with their hands, you know, they, 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 they don't really feel scared about it. But of course, all audience who comes to comedy is a little bit different from general public, I would say. Probably people who come to the opera, to Wagner's opera, <laughs> might not <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just... applaud so loudly to that, you know. They go uh, to but, the ballet, um, watch I the lovely bass one day. I also make For example, my husband, I'm saying, call me all the time, can't. Whenever I ask him to do, he will call, I can't, 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 you know. <laughs> so they can be... <laughs> it's also calm <laughs> so it depends you know and whenever i can't actually do something in my life i also so well, you see i can't so yeah. because it's, <laughs> <laughs> you know. sorry and where it's possible yeah <laughs> well, anyway uh, I, there we uh, are that's nice and uh yeah it's i, I love the, the kind of yeah making it positive because yeah, essentially it's just a word and people put a lot of emphasis on words, maybe too much. But if you've got a positive outlook on life, if you say yes to things, if you embrace being happy or choose being happy over being negative, then a word is just a word. And the the C word is just another one of, yeah, just a, just a, another word, just another thing that's out there, which we can choose to be upset about or we can choose just to... Or we can choose a shield because if you know the cunt can be good, if somebody actually say you're a cunt, you can just smile yeah. because you have um, different meaning out of it. Thank you. Uh, I would say uh, thank you, darling. I'm still a cunt <laughs> at my age. <laughs> you know, that was a really great compliment. Still, working, I I still working hard at it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a badge, a badge, a badge of honor. Uh, mm. I, 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 you know, I mean, I think, um, I, I, I think it's. Like I say, I think it's 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 brilliant, and you know, I very much look forward to to seeing the book um, when it comes out. And well, come well, to my love... show. Where are you based, Jeff? Hey, so I'm I'm uh, Hampshire in the UK. So I see, is it Croydon? Oh. Yes, I'm doing one in Croydon. I'm doing one in Faversham. I'm doing one in Nottingham, and then I'm doing one actually in London in February on the World Festival as well. I'm doing one in Redditch extended version for, for 90 minutes you know sort of i'm putting more art more about kant and more about <laughs> resurrection and because i was given a second life in my in my after my operation actually i leave it full so it's my story also about erection quite a lot <laughs> putting the <laughs> er- erection, erection in putting the resurrection erection in resurrection erection, yeah. <laughs> well you know well, that's great. Well, what uh, what we do, and we'll make sure that we've got all the links to um, kind of the comedy shows and tickets uh, in the bio for this. Um, well, thank you very much. And, and I, I love. I mean, I, I don't think there's a more kind of perfect circle. We've come and un- we start with a bit of a moan about a relationship between your husband and dogs, and actually, it's made better. The answer to everything is just be positive. Say yes. Don't take. And, and you know what? I, even when I had a real crisis years ago in my family, I actually ignore it. Yeah. You know, and things worked. You know, you know. It's it always actually remind me uh, uh, our former, you know, the, our late queen and Prince Philip, because there were some uh, things. But with ages, they became like two palomas, like two doves. You know, <laughs> actually, this time heals, and you just need to have the right attitude to to things. Which I agreed with you. Positive. Positive. The world yeah. needs more smiling and more positivity. Yes, actually, comedy really heals, I can tell you. It heals people who perform and it heals people who come uh, to the comedy. I actually want to sign up for this declaration. It healed me. You know, it let me go. It let me talk about things which I would never talk in public. And if I try, people sometimes, whoa, what are <laughs> you saying? Wow. But actually, at comedy, it sounds all okay. You know, I don't have any of these borders to cross. You know, I just can let it go. And it's so therapeutic, you know, and also therapeutic and also healing. Yeah, well, I can imagine. And I think I agree with you. I think that's what's great about comedy because there is a, a comedian for everyone, I think. And for the, what I do find a little upsetting is if there's a, com- a comedian that's not for you and you know it's not for you, yet choose to watch their show, despite mm. knowing that it's against maybe your beliefs maybe it's a, it's it's mm. not your style and then you go and then people get upset by it they've put themselves in the way yeah you you <laughs> wouldn't you wouldn't watch if you hate adam sandler movies you're not going to watch his latest film because you know it's yeah. going to annoy you why would you go to a comedian who's gonna you know is going to say things that it upsets you 
Whereas mm. just state what you like and then comedy is for everyone because there's a comedian for everyone. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely right. I, I'm always pleased, actually, funny enough, people ask me, what is your show? What age group? You know, the youngest people were my best audience. Those who gives a lot of love. I mean, I came once to Bristol. It was Bristol University, a little bit of walkie people. Yeah, I thought, bloody hell, this is gold big mama coming out there. What do they think? They just piss their pants, you know? They, they, <laughs> they, they love this kind of image of somebody which they probably miss maybe in their life or something like that, you know? They, they're my best audience. Yeah. You know, so there you are. Love it. It's the, the, I don't know, the, the auntie. Everyone's got that. Not everyone, but, you know, you have that auntie that is just a little bit, a little bit out there because they can be because you know they're not they're not your your that well, you're not their kid you know so everyone could be a bit more risky and the kids love it mm -hmm. uh helen that's that's fantastic unfortunately that is just about all the time um that's great got. that's fine we I don't will... need more <laughs> it's a uh, lot of... it was nice meeting you what's it going for 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 one for one last seabon what's the name of the show adventures of an old cunt or living my dream when my book is a little bit different, it's um, Adventures of an Old Cunt still there, uh, but it's a, a thrill of life after cancer. Wow. Well, I very much look forward to it. And um, I'll see if I can head over to, I think Croydon's the closest one to me, but we'll put all the links in the bio, uh, along with maybe a small warning. Um, <laughs> no, 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 it's not actually too bad. I put it plus 16, actually. I think, you know, not even plus 18. Oh, I, I mean, put it plus I mean about 16. This. Not, not about the show. Hey, that's on, that's on them. Mm. <laughs> But uh, yeah. look, look, it's been magnificent to meet you. Um, absolute pleasure. All the best with the show. Yes, uh, anytime you can ring, you know, it's okay for you. It hey. will not be harassment. I am I really was pleased to meet you and it's nice talking to you. Well, well, well. maybe once you kind of get to uh, up country and you're kind of mid-tour, mid, mid -tour, maybe we'll have another one and you can tell me about life on the road. Yes, I can show you my, my bull here on the country. I live in a farm with cows and a bull. And of course, the bull is uh, very attractive because it's the only <laughs> one who got the big one. <laughs> All right, I, Joe. I I'm look going forward to seeing the I bull. I'm going to drive quite far away for a gig now. So there you are. Oh, good, good luck. Break a leg. And uh, yeah, take care. Thank you so much. Um, and everyone, thank you, Helen. Thank you very Thanks much for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Thank See you. you next time. Bye bye.